How should I feel about this situation? NSFW. Welcome to slash r slash dating. Please make sure you read our rules here. HTTPS colon slash slash new dot r e d d i t dot com slash r slash dating slash about slash rules and remember to be polite and respect each other. Do not call people names or engage in slap fights. All advice given must be good, ethical advice. Do not post hateful or harmful rhetoric. You will be banned. HTTPS colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash dating slash wiki slash rules. Follow Reddit rules. Do not post content that promotes hate based on identity or vulnerability. Do not bully or harass other users. If you have any questions, please send the mods a message. HTTPS colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash message slash compose slash question two equals slash r slash dating. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit. Slash message slash compose slash question two equals slash r slash dating if you have any questions or concerns. Asterisk. As a man, we just ask for the same thing women do. Communication. If he's a good man and he likes you he'll ignore it ever happened. Just not saying anything is a trigger. Nah you should talk to him he didn't feel embarrassed. Do you have any reason to believe he's lying when he says it's okay? Because I've been in this situation but the lights were on and it didn't matter at all. It's biology. I hate that the female anatomy and cycle is so foreign in concept that a post about a period needs to be marked as NSFW. But that's besides the point. I wouldn't avoid reaching out to her seemed mature enough to take it in his stride. Give him the benefit of the doubt and make arrangements to meet again next week. If he rejects you because of something completely out of your control, you've dodged a bullet. But don't assume the worst automatically. It happens, that's totally normal. I had that with a girl the first time, she was embarrassed, until she realized that I was just laughing about that. Then she realized there was absolutely nothing wrong, and took the funny part out of it. We laughed about it from time to time. So if he said it was okay, don't worry about that. If you feel a bit ashamed, just don't mention it again. You apologized. He said it was okay, so you can move on. You shouldn't be embarrassed or ashamed. This seems to be a normal practice. Period sex, which I understand is very enjoyable for her. Feel good about yourself. If he doesn't want to continue with you and hookups it is totally his loss. Good luck. I like women. Women have periods. Decent people know that and happily accept it. There are cultures that celebrate a woman's first menses. Then there are those that shame women for their power of carrying life. I earned my red wings long ago. You didn't lie to him about your period, these things happen. 99% of guys would be perfectly happy to put in behind you and not give it another thought. Why punish him for what's in your head? Honestly, this happens to most people at some point and it's really just a bodily fluid. Would you be that embarrassed if you had a nosebleed? It's really not that different. You shouldn't ghost him, maybe just be honest and say you're still embarrassed about what happened but would like to see him again, maybe even joke about it if you feel like that would break the tension. He doesn't sound like he was that bothered anyway. Decent guys know this stuff is natural and happens to half of the population. Whatever happened is normal. And to be embarrassed about or anything, the guy didn't make a huge deal about it was okay with it and understood the situation, now the issue here is that you are starting to overthink the whole situation. And assuming that he will reject you. And assumptions in any kind of situation is bad. You say you want to still hook up with him but at the same time questioning if you should talk to him again. Now if the guy reacted differently and then you said he did then it's a different situation but he didn't he was nice didn't react in a negative way. 
so I'd say there no reason to never talk to him again if you still wanna hook up. If a man says it's okay, listen to the words. Fought get in your own head when he already has given you feedback. If you still want to pursue sexy times with him, talk to him about it. How you feel what you feel because of the incident. If he still says it's no problem, or something akin to it, then go for it. Was it really your period or is your cervix bruise? I think it would be stupid if the guy doesn't want to see you again after that. I had something similar happen to me, except on my day, passed out drunk in his bed, woke up thinking I peed myself and it was blood. Huge stain on his mattress and everything. I was mortified. He married me and we have a daughter together. Text him next week, PLS. Another girl falling for a red flag guy, these girls man, face with tears of joy face with tears of joy losers. I understand why you might feel embarrassed, but honestly there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's a normal bodily function that you have no control over. It happens. If he has any sense he'll be fine with it. If he's not actually okay, he needs to grow up. It won't be the last time a girl comes on her period. Doesn't sound like he was bothered. He didn't make a deal out of it and asked if you were okay out of concern. He sounds like a decent guy tbh. It's normal. Yummy smiling face licking lips. Anytime men go messing around in that area anything can happen person shrugging. It happens. Don't make a big deal about it. If he's mature he's well aware that women deal with these things. Trust me he would much rather see you again than make an issue of it. If he's mature that is. I've had far worse happen. It's life.